Many people ask, what is it that you're doing down at the feet? Because we're at the feet checking a lot of the time. And what it is, is we're looking for a deep tendon reflex. Just like when you go to the medical doctor and they hit your knee with a hammer and you get that reflex, we're doing the same thing just with your Achilles tendon, which is the back of the ankle there. And when we press down on the feet, it stresses that reflex. What a deep tendon reflex is, is that it's a signal going from that target point, that ankle, where we're stressing that reflex, to the spinal cord, back to that foot without the brain processing it. You can think about it if you step on a nail. When you step on a nail or you touch a hot object, you will pull your hand away or foot away before you ever feel pain or even know what you touched. And that's because your spinal cord responded to it quicker than your brain ever got that signal. And so what we're doing is we're looking at the raw data of the body because when we're standing upright, that's great. Our body compensates, our head goes over the center of our pelvis and our shoulders start to level and our pelvis changes so that we're not walking on an angle or with the curves that might be going on in our spine. But when we lay down and stress those reflexes, we can truly see what's going on with the body and not try to cover up the symptoms or the compensations, but truly get to the cause of the problem. And so when we're doing that reflex on the feet, we're looking at that and your reflexes will be different from one side to the other. So for example, if I'm checking someone and their reflex on the right is less than the one on the left, that means there's interference between their spinal cord and their brain and the right side of their body. So they're not getting the full signal. So we'll go through and check and find that one area that's causing that problem in the body and we'll adjust that and when we find that area the reflexes will become perfectly even it's exactly what the body wants to see and then we make that correction that's what's so great about this technique is if you've had spinal surgeries in the past or have had issues or been to other chiropractors and not gotten results this technique is allowing your body to tell me what it needs and not the other way around so we make those corrections and then we build one adjustment off the next.